And then, Checkers and Snoozer are visiting the Arctic. Arctic, Snoozer? Sounds pretty cold. Yeah, but that is the least of their worries. They get captured by a monster. Can I help you? I am Snoozer! Watch this! <laughs> Very impressive. I'm an Arctic explorer. I'm looking for a giant snow monster. <gasps> a snow monster? That's right. I've been looking high and low, but I haven't had any luck. I'm starting to think it's not out here. Of course not. There's no such thing as snow monsters, silly explorer. Whoa! Oh no! Hey! <laughs> and then, Checkers and Snoozer are stuck upside down. Wait a minute! We can use your checkers pad to send us back home! It's gone, Snoozer! I lost it when the snow monster attacked us! We need to get back to the spot we met the explorer. That's where it is. Did you hear something? Ugh. Oh, Snoozer, I can't turn my head. Don't! My cool tool! It must have fallen out of my pocket! If I could just reach it! He's coming closer! Snoozer, hurry, use your vacuum to bring it towards me! Okay! Got it! Brace yourself, Snoozer! Snowman, we are just trying to... Oh, never mind! Ah! Snoozer! And then they escape! And then they help free the explorer! But they need to find some way to get away. Hmm, I think I have an idea. <laughs> and then a great chase scene happens. Uh oh, Snoozer, he's gaining on us. Hey, Mr. Explorer, step on it. You got it. And Checkers and Snoozer get away. Well, that was great, Snoozer. Awesome job. But oof, I forgot how cold it gets in the winter. Especially in the Arctic. Yeah, but I guess that's to be expected when you get to December. Well, actually, tomorrow's January, isn't it? Oh, yeah! It's the last day of the year! Sure is, Snoozer. A whole year of adventures, and we've come to the last day. But what to do? What about New Year's? I don't know much about it. Except that today is December, and tomorrow is January. One second separates one year from another. Whoa, that is pretty cool. Say no more, Snoozer. You've just sprouted a great idea in my head. That is exactly what we're going to learn about on today's... Do you want to say it? Say what? The line, the line we say every time. It's the last one of the year, Snoozer. Oh. What line? What? Never mind, Snoozer. Let's just get going. Snoozer. Sending in three, two, one. And we're off. Autopilot activated. So where are we going today? Oh gosh, the 
It's the last time I'll ever say that this year. So tragic. Yeah, but it's arbitrary snoozer. I mean, we could go on a reading road trip tomorrow and you could still say it. The only difference would be it'd be a new year on the calendar. Yeah, I guess that is true. But I'll be a new robot vacuum in the new year. I'll never be the same. I guess so, snoozer. Anyway, the modern calendar that we use to measure months and year is called the Gregorian calendar. Introduced by Pope Gregory XII in 1582. Now it was corrected by the Julian calendar, which was applied by Julius Caesar in 46 BC, which was 1,628 years later. You see, Snoozer, the Romans miscalculated by 11 years, and they had to fix the whole calendar. Now the months of the year are named after Roman emperors and gods. Hmm, my mind is confused. I thought it was interesting, Snoozer. All right, let me pull up the map. We are headed around Fuzzleland to pick up some books about New Year's. Along the way, we've got one last craft to do with your teacher, Mrs. Hamilton. One more craft. It has all been leading up to this. I must outdo myself. Well, Snoozer, I'm sure you're going to do just great. But look at that. Here come the books. All right, Snoozer, let's check out a few. What'd we get, Checkers? Here you go, Snoozer. Happy New Year, Pooh, by Kathleen W. Zofield. In Chinese New Year, a time for parades, family, and friends, by Faye Roberson. Sounds good, Snoozer. Now, Chinese New Year is a little bit different than the New Year I've been talking about up to this point. It actually happens between January 21st and February 20th, and it is a major festival. Now, it began over 4,000 years ago, and over time, the celebration has seen many changes and advancements. Now, if you want to learn a bit more about Chinese culture and what goes on during this event, this book has a lot of information for you. There really is a lot here from foods to symbols to clothing, and all the things that are part of the festival. The book also discusses how Chinese New Year is represented in the United States. So after reading this book, or a similar one, you'll know a lot more about this event next time you see it being celebrated or talked about, when late January rolls around. Oh, that's pretty soon! I wonder how much I can learn about Chinese New Year by then! Well, Snoozer, I bet you could probably learn quite a bit, because you do have a little bit of time. But, before Chinese New Year, we have another New Year's event to celebrate, which comes tomorrow. And to help us celebrate that, we've got one more craft with Mrs. Hamilton, and I wonder what she's got for you. It's probably pretty cool. So let's bring on Mrs. Hamilton right now and do our final craft of the year. Well, Happy New Year celebration, snoozer! I'm all set for New Year's. I got my hat. And this year is going to be the best year ever. So today we are making a polar bear celebrating the new year. So he has a hat with the number one on it to celebrate the first day of January, which is New Year's Day on January 1st. All right. So why don't we get our scissors out, have your glue ready. You're going to need a black marker or a black crayon. And I think I'm going to get going. All right. So I'm going to get my polar bear all aligned. And I picked a polar bear because when I think of January, I think of cold winter. And polar bears live up north. So, I think, well, let's see. Put that there. Eyes are gonna go here. If you wanna make a mouth, you can. Oop, maybe put that up there. Okay, I think I'm ready. All right, I finished mine. Polar bears celebrating the new year. Voila. How does yours look? Here is my new year's bear. Oh, I just love it. All right, well, I 
hope you have a wonderful new year and you have lots of great plans for the best year ever. Oh, there's so much to learn and so much to do. I'll see you next time. Bye. to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can! Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft. Plus, we have activity sheets, games, and a whole lot more. Your library might even have their very own schnoozer. Come and see me! Anyway, back to the show. Look, checkers! The bear is done! Wow, Snoozer, that is fantastic. And now the collection is complete. Yes, it is. Oh, this bear is such a cutie pie. Are you excited for New Year's bear? And you know what? You can celebrate Chinese New Year in January or February. And with that, Snoozer, we have to talk about another bear that is also celebrating New Year's. Winnie the Pooh. This book follows all the characters from the series throughout the year as they learn about the seasons changing and the passage of time. We see the friends hanging out together, learning from each other, and having fun. It's nice to see these characters together and making each other feel better when they're sad. It really is a great book to read for the characters, and it's unique to see the passage of time. And that's something we've noticed throughout our year of reading road trips. We've traveled to places, learned new things, gained a new understanding, and we've had a lot of fun along the way. I made my own New Year's bear. And I made friends with a real polar bear. I learned about science and dinosaurs. And Snoozer, that's just the half of it. And the best part is, we've recorded all of our reading road trips. And one of these days, we can watch them all back and remember all the fun things we learned. Yeah, but I don't like hearing my voice on camera. My voice is so deep. It's all right, Snoozer. I'm sure we'll level out as you get older. Anyway, Snoozer, we've had a whole great year of reading road trips, and I can't wait what we're going to learn in our upcoming year. New places to go, new things to do, and especially new books to read on our whole upcoming year of reading road trips.